Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make easy collage paper dangles. But first, let's have our shout out to Vicki, Carolyn, Mags, Margie's Crafty Corner, Heather, Christina, Gail, M Mara Snack, Judy, and Elle. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys. We all have some collage papers that we have done. This one's mounted on some basic copy paper that's been coffee dyed. And I think I want to use this section right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this out to a more manageable size. So I am going to give this a snip. I have made approximately eight of these. They are so much fun once you get going and you get all of your supplies. You just can't seem to stop making them. I'm going to have to shorten it just a little bit here to be able to get it in here. Mm -hmm. See if that did it. I'm just trying to even this all out just so it's not not uh, out of out of kilter here alrighty so here's my little piece of collage paper and I don't want them to be this long although you could make them that long I think I'd like mine to be approximately maybe this long and I really like this, so I think I'm going to trim it. And you can trim these any width that you want, want, and any length that you want. Okay, so I have got three right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my corner rounder, and I'm going to round the corners. So... Let's just go ahead and do that. Now, on a couple of my dangles, I actually took my gold paint, which I'll show you in just a second, because I'm going to show you making one of those. We'll make a couple here, a couple of different ways, different things, because when you put different things on them and do different things to them, they turn out all different. <laughs> Imagine that. So... This is Craftsmart, Craftsmart Multi-Surface, Surfaced, and it's a uh, light gold or clear. All right, I'm just going to shake it up just a little bit. And I am just going to put it right here on my craft table, my mat, just a little bit. Use my finger, which one? I think I'll put it on this one. I'm actually just going to, now be careful you don't get a paper cut doing this, but I'm just going to apply it right onto my little piece here, my dangle piece, by putting it on my finger and just applying it this way. No rhyme or reason, and I'm not being particularly careful with it. I'm actually going to turn it over. I have extra here, and I'm only going to do one like this. I don't think I put the the uh, gold on the back of my other ones, but that's all right. We're just going to do that. So I have a wipe here, so I'm just going to wipe this up just like that and get it out of the way so I don't get into it. So I have one like that. Then I'm going to get my vintage photo, and I'm going to ink up one just real quickly here, just like this. Alrighty, and then we don't need to do, we'll just do two. Now, I have got stamps. I have this beautiful swirly stamp. Let's go ahead and use it. And let's just get it right on here. I've got a little bit of extra ink right here. I'm going to get that off so I don't accidentally put it on my dangle. Oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Now we're going to set that aside. 
let's go ahead and maybe use a number. So I have some numbers right here. Here's a seven. I've learned that this pad is super, super bouncy. So I just brush it over the top. Otherwise, I get it all over this stamp and it doesn't turn out very pretty. Let's make it 72. Alrighty, let's make it 72. Just like that. Alright, so we've got a stamp on this one and a number. That's nice. We've got gold going on with this one. So now what else do we want to do? I've got some labels here. So here's a green label and this has a little bit of green on the top here. I don't know if I want that or I don't even know if I want any of this. Oh, I like the New York with this one. So I'm going to just ink this up just a tiny bit. I'm going to bring in my little tiny hole punch right here and I'm going to punch it. I'm going to actually punch it, offset it, and I'm going to bring in my larger punch. Whoops. <laughs> this way. I'm going to punch this right here at the top and I'm going to bring in one of my rivets. So how about if we do maybe a gold color? That would be nice. And let's put it right on our little tool here. And let's go ahead and wait, that's the wrong way. We need to put this down first. Goodness gracious. Need to do it this way, Kathy. Oh, you'll put it on backwards. Give it a good squeeze. And there we go. Oh my goodness, isn't that looking beautiful? I like that a lot. Now, I'm going to bring in a bulb, a light bulb safety pin. Now, I find these in the sewing department of a craft shop. That's where I find these. So I've got some little scraps of lace. So I'm thinking that I would like to maybe add a bead. I have actually have a couple of white beads right here. So I think I'm just going to put one on here. And then I'm going to put my little label and maybe a little bit of lace and then right back through my hole so now it looks like this. Isn't that pretty and you've got movement to it? Oh my goodness that's just lovely. So let's go ahead and let's do this one. So let's say that you don't have a rivet a machine or a little tool and so let's go ahead and take our hole punch and let's uh, no, I want that to be the heavier side. So I want it to be this way. We're going to put a hole in it, a punch. We're going to punch a hole. And then we're going to bring our little paper hole savers in. And I always like to apply a little bit of glue around my hole. And then place it down on there. Just like that. Let's turn it over the other side. Oh, this fella has to be removed. Let's do a little bit of glue around here and let's take off one more. I colored this with some gold paint. These, this one doesn't have gold paint. This one's just um, ink. This is just the vintage photo. Let's use one of those on the back. All right, so now we look like this. So you don't have to have a machine that puts a rivet in. And maybe let's go ahead and... Um, put a label on here, but let's put a label on maybe just like that. We're going to put it on the actual collage paper. So let's glue this on right here. Let's get this glued on right like that. I even have a little bit of gold colored doily. 
And we could, let me take that off for just a second. I think I'd like to stick it on here. Maybe something like this. And then put this right on top. Yeah, I like how that looks. That's looking really good. Next, what I think we should do is let's bring in our little light bulb pin. And how about if we use a little bit of material? So these are all just little scraps. And let's put us a piece. Actually, maybe we could fold it. Fold a little piece on here. I don't know. That's a little wild right there. I don't think I like that wildness. Let's try that again. That's a little better. Hmm. I'm going to take that off though. I think I want this scrap. Now that's a little tiny scrap, isn't it? Let's put that little tiny scrap on. I can't even believe I saved that. But we do save things, don't we guys? Because you just never know when you'll be able to use it. And let's hook this right up in here like this. And there's that one with the gold. Oh my goodness. I love these. I love these. I love these. I think they're so pretty. Let me bring in some others. I mean to tell you, I made some others, right? So this one, you guys, has one of those shrinky dinks that we made in one of our videos. So I added a shrinky dink. This one has a label. Oh, that one's taped down. This one has a label and a stamp. This one has a bow and some stamps. This one has a label. This one has some black and some beads. This one right here has a stamp like this right down the side. It says Saturday, June 22nd, 2022 with a button. This one has a button and some black lace and some material underneath the label. And there's another one that has a little shrinky dink on it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I absolutely love these. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. I'll see you there. Bye now.